guys. So, kwentuhan galore muna tayo. Dito ako ngayon sa boarding area sa gate 107 kasi yun ang gate natin for boarding tonight at 8pm for our Manila to Singapore flight. So, ang arrival natin sa Singapore is at 11.55. So, habang gihintay tayo, so, kwentuhan muna tayo sa ating experience. So, iba ba experience nga naman. So, sa amin, um, kasi yung original flight namin is um, direct flight Cebu Singapore and Singapore to Cebu. Itagal na namin siyang binuk. Pati yung hotel accommodation uh, na book na din namin. And before our departure date, which is the 24th today, um, nakareceive kami ng email from Cebu Pacific na yun nga, uh, we need to rebook our flight for Cebu, Singapore and they gave us um, choices. So, ang napili pa rin namin is uh, same day but magkakaroon kami ng layover dito sa Manila for like about 6 hours kasi uh, dumating kami 2pm and then next flight namin is 8pm so ang nangyari I was expecting na pagdating dito sa Manila, dito lang hanapin lahat ng requirements um, however uh, I was surprised kasi dun pa lang sa Cebu ay dun na in interview na kami doon, upon checking in, hinanap yung, of course, our um, round trip tickets. And then, uh, hinanap din yung uh, travel insurances. And ganun din yung accommodation. Tinanong na din kami doon, how many days kami mag stay And then, our SG arrival card, tinanong na din doon. And then, we were advised to pay uh, the travel tax in Cebu na. So, doon na namin binayaran. And since we're a family of four, um, isang receipt na lang ang binigay sa amin. So, each person must pay 1,620 uh, Philippine money. 1,620 pesos. So, isang receipt lang yun. Here's your receipt. Yung pink, bibigay sa airline. The white one is your copy. And then, um, doon na din kami binigyan ng boarding pass namin. Actually, um, nag early check in ako so we already have our boarding passes um, even before we arrived at the airport so pag tingnan airport yun na upon checking in binigyan na kami ng dalawang boarding pass so it consists of our Cebu Manila and then Manila Singapore flights so in advice kami na when we get to Manila we don't need to go through the check-in counters na. So, ang galing, kasi yun na connecting flight nga naman, so they already processed it there. So, hindi na din nga wine yung mga hand carry luggages namin. Um, siguro, uh, nakita naman yun na honest naman kami, na yun na, uh, 7 kilos naman talaga yung laman, although may sobra na 10 grams ganon. Like, uh, the other luggage that we have is 7.10 kilos. Uh, yung isa naman is 7.95. Um, we were thinking na baka singilin kami ng extra, however, wala na nangyaring ganon kasi she allowed us to uh, proceed to our to the boarding area. So there, um, super smooth lang pagdating namin ng Manila um, sa Nagia Terminal 3 pa rin. So we just have to go to the third floor kung saan nandoon ang Bureau of Immigration for the international flights. So before going to the immigration, you need to um, fill out the um, departure card, the international departure card that is a requirement for our Filipinos who are going outside of the country. So, nang fill out kami, tigisan pa rin kami, even our minor, si Linnea. Uh, my daughter is just 17 years old. Uh, meron din siyang sarili niyang um, international departure card, which she also signed. And then, when you have it ready, um, you have to uh, call in line, proceed to the Bureau of Immigration. Pumila lang kayo doon for yung linya ng mga uh, Philippine passport holders. Kasi iba din yung linya ng mga OFWs. Baka mahalo, mahalo kayo doon. So you will have to go through the end of the line again. So you must go to the right line. So yun nga. Um, pagdating sa immigration, di ba nakapila ka na doon? And there's that's just random immigration officers kung sino yung available. And then ikaw na yung next in line. You have no choice but to advance and proceed to the available immigration officer. So, ang nangyari, uh, unang nabakante, yung tapat ng eldest son ko. So, he proceeded uh, to the immigration officer and was asked a few questions. So, mas maganda pag siya na lang ang atatanungin ko mamaya para ma-share naman niya sa inyo kung ano yung tinanong sa kanya. Um, in regards to mine, um, tinanong niya ako, oh, 
saan country kami pupunta. So, I answered Singapore. Of course, you will say good afternoon. Ayan. Siyempre, i-greet mo din. Maging magaling tayo, gorgeous. Kasi, alam na natin, medyo strict ko talaga yung mga innovation officers because that is part of their job. So, of course, you said you have to say magandang hapon, magandang umaga, or however you want to greet uh, the innovation officer. And then, yun, uh, he asked kung sa country ang pupunta so I answered Singapore and then he asked if I'm traveling alone or I'm traveling with somebody else so sinagot ko I'm traveling with my family then tinanong niya so what will you do there? sabi ko actually Taglish Tagalog and English tinanong niya what will you do there? and then we just answered na uh, it's actually a family trip that we promised our uh, kids uh, like four years ago. So ngayon lang talaga siya natuloy. And we're so excited na finally matutuloy na. Yun ang kinuwento ko sa kanya. And then uh, tinanong niya, uh, ilang taon yung mga anak ko, asan yung mga anak ko. So tinuro ko yung eldest ko ay andun na sa kabilang immigration officer. Uh, Nakasalukuyan ng uh, in-interview. And then tinuro ko din yung anak kong uh, si Ninia. And then sabi ko, uh, ni my daughter is a minor. 17 years old pa lang siya. So Sabi niya, can you call your daughter? So, tinawag ko ang daughter ko. So, she was beside me while I was um, in front of the immigration officer. Tapos, uh, hinanap lang niya is, ang hinanap lang niya is ang boarding pass, ang passport, and then yung round trip ticket. Now, pagkabukas niya, andun na yung round trip ticket namin, yung itinerary, travel itinerary namin. So, hindi niya tinignan yung iba. Wala na siyang ibang tanong, kundi ang kinuha lang niya ay ang boarding pass, departure card, and then ang passport. Yung tatlo lang na yun ang hiningi niya sa akin. So, after scanning my passport, um, tatanggalin mo syempre yung uh, mask mo. Walang face covering kasi uh, they will take a picture of you. Tapos i-scan yung passport mo, and then you're good to go. Binalik na agad yung passport sa akin. No more no added questions. Oh, wait. Tinanong pa pala niya kung uh, I am working as a government employee. Sabi ko, no, I've never been one. Then tinanong niya, so what do you do for right now? Sabi ko, I'm an independent contractor. Tapos tinanong niya, anong contractor yon? Kasi he doesn't understand. So sabi ko, uh, yun pong mga virtual as the likes of uh, virtual assistants, graphic artists, and on, we are actually called independent contractors because uh, you, our employers are from abroad. So, ang nangyayari, we are not called or we are not treated as employees, but we are treated as independent contractors. And then sabi niya, oh, okay, yun pala yun, tinanong niya. So, yun na. So, wala na siya ibang tinanong. Basically, ito, uh, para dire-direcho in sequence. So, ang tinanong is passport, departure card, um, flight itinerary, boarding pass. Yun lang. And then, tinanong if I'm a government employee, tinanong kung anong work ko, yun lang. Simple as that. Tapos, sinabi niya sa akin, uh, ma'am, whenever ikaw nasa line sa Singapore or pagbalik mo dito sa Philippines, always, always be with your daughter para one time lang, minsanan lang. So, yun. Uh, after ko, yung daughter ko, same process. Um, she asked for the passport, boarding pass, scanned, took a picture of my daughter, and then stamped na, okay na. And then next naman si hubby, no questions asked again for my husband. So, hindi na siya question kung mag-work pa siya or no, nothing. Sinabi lang, uh, sir, hello sir, uh, passport please. Yun lang ulit, it's in a scan, and then we were able to go through the immigration swiftly and hindi ko alam pa paano we were able to go through the immigration swiftly no fuzz no nothing at all yun lang so yung kabako is parang naibsan yung kabako i was actually thinking um a lot of scenarios na pwedeng mangyari kasi yun nga it actually depends on the mood of the immigration officer na makakaharap mo um i've watched a lot of vlogs about um traveling to singapore i've watched a lot of passengers who have been offloaded and I've also watched passengers who have been interrogated in a very very strict manner na para na silang mga uh, criminals or mga ganyang mga klase habang sila ini-interrogate so I was um, actually nervous about it even my kids and my husband so we kept praying uh, we prayed before our flight and then we prayed before proceeding to the immigration pagdating namin sa uh, dito sa Manila so we prayed as a family we asked for it and then again it's answered prayers so thank you talaga Lord for allowing us to 
um, na matupad na itong trip na pranami sa amin sa mga bata. Salamat, salamat sa blessings na uh, at least we were able to afford itong mga bagay na ito. So, thank you really for the experience. So, yun. Ang saya-saya lang namin kasi nakalapas kami ng immigration. No fuzz na nothing. Simpleng-simple lang yung experience na binigay ni Lord sa amin. We passed through immigration with breeze. Ewan ko kung paano i-describe yun. So, yun. I update na lang namin kayo pag natin sa sinipo. If you have any questions or what not, just leave in the comment section below and I will try to answer based on our experience. So, sana kayo na din. Planuhin na yan. I-book na yan. And, of course, come prepared regardless. So, iba yung experience ko. Iba yung experience ng iba. For sure, iba din yung magiging experience ninyo. Uh, but, let's just hope for the best. Um, may prepare pa rin natin yung mga possible documents na kailangan nila na, na sa tingin natin ay hihingiin nila so when they ask for it, you already have it with you okay, so i prepare lang natin yung mga documents na yon so I'll try to uh, share again kung ano yung experience namin sa immigration sa Singapore when we arrive later so our flight will be at 8 o'clock we will depart uh, Manila at 8 p.m. and then we'll be arriving uh, in Singapore, Terminal 4, uh, Changi Airport at 11.55. So I'm gonna update you guys. So thank you for watching.